Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're making a famous dish come from Louisiana cuisine, the gumbo. I found an easier, faster way to do it, and it's gonna be delicious and healthy. Let's get it started, shall we? First thing first, large pan, medium high heat. Half pound of ground beef, 15% or 20% fat. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Break up the meat as best as you can. Dice one large onion. Continue to break and stir the beef. Reduce heat if it cooks too fast. Onion in. Stir up. Slice 7 ounces of andouille sausage. Into the pan, give it a quick stir. One bag 16 ounces of medium frozen easy peel shrimps. I will just add some warm water in the bag, reserve it and leave it there to thaw for a bit. Wash our produce. Remember to stir occasionally, don't let it burn, reduce heat if needed. One large green pepper. So what we have here is the holy trinity of Cajun cuisine, which is onion, bell pepper, and celery. Cajun and Creole cuisines use this combination in many of their dishes. Two large straws of celery. Quick stir. Moving on to okra. Cut 10 ounces of fresh okra. I'm lucky to have some from my garden. Feel free to use frozen okra if you like. Main street cloves of garlic. We're done with all the cutting and chopping. Now we just stir occasionally until we get some brown on the sausage, the beef, or any other ingredients. This is to develop more flavors for the dish. Reduce heat to medium-low if needed to prevent burning. In the meantime, let's work on our shrimps. Set the shrimps there for now. Stir, stir. Everything looks nice and brown. Add 1 fourth cup of flour. Stir until flour is not visible. Now I like my gumbo thick like a gravy, so I only add one and a half cup of meat stock. Add three cups if you like it more soupy. Two cans for a total of 29 ounces of diced tomatoes. Give it a few stirs. Add three bay leaves. 1 tablespoon of Cajun seasoning 1 teaspoon of thyme 1 fourth teaspoon of kosher salt and the same for pepper 2 teaspoons of sugar and 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce 1 to 2 tablespoons of Louisiana hot sauce Finally, gumbo filet 1 and half tablespoon Mix everything together Add our shrimp in Stir up Reduce heat to low, cover, and let it simmer for 45 minutes. Now after done cleaning, I'm going to cook my rice to go with the gumbo and that will complete our nutritiously balanced dinner. 3 cups of uncooked laundry rice will make 6 servings. I'm just gonna move in quick here. If you want to learn how to cook perfect rice on stove top or with a rice cooker, check out my other video, link in the description or at the end of this video. Here we go, 45 minutes later. Oh, it looks so good. Some chopped green onion for garnishing if you like.
And that's how I make my gumbo that everybody keeps asking for more. Cheap and healthy dinner, one pan, easy but full of flavors. I hope you like this recipe. Please like and subscribe to help me out. You have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.